I'm Amanda Joseph with Behind the Scenes at ULMWarhawks.com. We're in the new soccer field complex, and we're going to give you a little bit of a preview of this year's soccer team. I'm with Kelly Brown right now. Tell me about this past weekend's game. You had a goal and an assist, correct? Yes. Um, this past weekend, the game was good. We won 5-1. to one. Um, We started off a little slow, but that was expected for preseason. Got um, all the jitters out. But I think we're ready, and I'm excited for the season. So. What game are you, or what games are you looking forward to most this coming season? Um, well, we're on the road a lot this year, and I'm excited for all of our games. But DU is a big one, just because that's where um, I'm from. So we'll see. <laughs> what about? Um, I know every team usually has team goals at the beginning of the season. Have y'all set any goals for yourself? I just think our main goal is just to try and win every game and take it uh, each game one step at a time. So. Thank you very much, Thank Kelly. You. I'm now with Sammy Cashman. Tell me about, now you are from Las Vegas, correct? Yes. Okay. Now what led you to the beautiful town of Monroe, and what's it like being from Vegas? <laughs> um, well, actually soccer led me from led me from Vegas to Monroe. I was playing at a tournament in Houston, and the old assistant coach, Freddie, came up to me and said that he wanted me and a bunch of the other girls on my team to play for him, and then... Somehow I ended up here. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got this brand new facility. Tell me what you like best about it. I like the fact that we actually have a locker room. But, um, I really like having a locker room, and it just makes it feel like more like a team and like we're more at home. Thank you so much, Sammy. Thank you. Oh, with Emily Leibarger. Now, last year you didn't get a chance to play. Tell me about why that happened and you know how you've been able to bounce back to this year. Well, last year I tore my ACL in the second half, first half of the North Texas game. And so that was kind of rough because I was like our second conference game of the season. So I sit out the rest of the season. But because of that, I'm really excited to come back and play. And it'll be fun. And we're going to Denver this year, so I'm really excited about that. Has it been hard to come back from an injury? Um, No, but I mean, it's hard. Wa it was hard watching all last year. So that was just more motivation for me to come back and be on the field again this year. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm with the head soccer coach, Stacy Lamb. You just got out of fall camp. Tell me what it was like. Preseason camp this year was fun. You know, it was fun because we have so many freshmen. It's their first experience, so everybody kind of adopts them. And, and the returners, you know, the three seniors come into it really excited and, and ready to play. And, and all in all, just having more numbers this year. You know, 26 girls on the roster. It's a more competitive environment, but it's a lot more positive environment because, you know, we're, we're all working toward the same goal, and, and it's a lot more intense than it was in years past. Now this weekend y'all played Bellhaven. What other exciting matchups can we expect on your schedule this year? You know, Friday's game, tomorrow's game will be a huge game because it's an in-state rival, Northwestern State. They've got a great coach. And historically we have um, very similar teams. We play the same style. We we have the same strengths. And so, you know, it's, it's always a battle for the in-state bragging rights. You know, I do think Northwestern is one of the best teams in the region. And um, we're out tomorrow night to upset them. And it's, it's always going to be a good match. That one, of course, non-conference uh, is an exciting one. And then, you know, our non-conference schedule has a host of other Louisiana teams on there. McNeese and Southeastern and Centenary all coming up over the next two weeks will be, will be really important games and really big games. So, you know, there's no easy games this year, which we're all excited about. Now, last year your team was plagued with a lot of injury. Give me some update on, on how things are going this year. You know what? We're healthy, and we have lots of numbers, and that in itself is going to make us more successful. You know, we um, injuries, we've had no significant injuries to date, knock on wood, um, but so far just little strains and sprains here and there, but overall we're very healthy and, and getting healthier every day, so we definitely will not run into depth problems the way we did last year. Talk about some of the players on the team. Who has kind of stepped up into a leadership role as an athlete and also just as a leader? You know, I think that's probably what separates this team um, from every other team in the past is that we don't have any one person leading us, but the, the returners are doing a great job leading as a class. And the freshmen are doing a great job of following. But, you know, Kelly Brown is coming off another national championship with her club team, uh, the Colorado Rush, and she is on fire right now. You know, she's just she's a player's player. She There's nothing she can't do, and she has one speed, and it's 1,000 miles an hour, and she has one degree of effort, and it's 110%. I mean, she's just 
I can't say enough positive things about Kelly. Uh, Samantha Cashman is a returner. She's a junior this year. She um, and Radan Phillips, senior, uh, are starting backs for us, and the two of them continue to be the best defenders in this conference, you know, and, and they're definitely going to be players to watch and players that have let us day in and day out. You know, um, Tiffany Bombard, our leading scorer returning from last year, can't say enough about Tiffany. She came in fit and, and ready to play, and she's been scoring some great goals. Um, Brittany Markham and Mallory George are, are rounding out our fresh or our senior class of three. They're you know, everybody's just doing a great job leadership-wise, you know, and it's it's going to be a big year. It's going to be great. Emily Leibarger joins us again this year after a season-ending year last year. Um, she's healthy, she's strong, she's fit, and she's ready to be back on the field. And, you know, it's it's leadership from all areas. It's definitely um, leadership by, by group this year, which is a good thing. Talk about some of your new talent that has come in this year. You know, freshmen are going to be a huge, huge impact role for us this year. Um, Kylie McIntyre um, can play as a central midfielder. She can also play as an outside midfielder. And and right now, you know, she'll look to start tomorrow night, her first college start as an outside midfielder, and she's fantastic. She's definitely a player to watch. Um, other freshmen are our goalkeeper, Alex Holland. Uh, got the start against Bellhaven, and she'll have it again tomorrow night. But she is, I think, hands down, one of the best goalkeepers in the conference. I think we're fortunate in that we have both, both of our goalkeepers, senior Mallory George and freshman Alex Holland, are the two best keepers in the conference. So it's great to have them both on the same team. It's hard to have them both on the same team, but it's, it's a definite a positive environment to be in. Um, other freshmen coming in, Addison Adams is a forward up top. She'll combine with Tiffany Bombard to score a lot of goals. Um, outside defenders, Natasha Tagalong and Christian Marino, um, again, could push for starting positions right off the bat, and both of them you know, are, are going to do great jobs for us. So there's, there's a lot of talent. It's hard to single out one or two in that class because it's such a talented class for us. Tell me about, uh, I heard a rumor that the team motto, something about 212. Tell me how that began. Well, um, everybody's seen and heard the Simple Truth, the little motivational posters. Well, there's one that Simple Truth has called 212, and it starts off at 211 degrees, water's hot, and at 212 degrees, water's boiling, and boiling water causes steam. By itself doesn't mean a lot, but enough steam together is strong enough to power a locomotive, and it leads into how one extra degree makes a huge difference and it talks about the extra degree of being a good teammate going the extra degree to be a good student going the extra degree um, of effort on the field and when we all watch this together as a group you know it just kind of stuck and and we were at it at a practice shortly after we had all witnessed it for the first time and and one of the girls is like it was a it was a hard moment in practice and we weren't sure if they were going to get over the hump or just crumble and one of the girls you know piped up and said come on guys 212 and it stuck and it's something it's on our pregame um our pregame jerseys and it's it's a motto that we live by and and that i hope continues to be a motto or at least a the attitude of this team for years to come. Now, we're currently in the new soccer facility. Tell me about that and how that will help the program in the future in terms of recruiting and, and everything that's involved with the program. Yeah, we love our new home. It's so nice. It's a huge lounge for the players um, with couches and TVs and just a place to hang out. There's a film area, film room, our own film room now where I feel bad that we were we would always go over and Coach Weatherby was always like, absolutely, whatever you need, but now we don't have to to bother anybody else. We have our own place and coaches' offices and a player locker room, and and it's changed the morale of the team. We have a home now, and, and it's something that we can take pride in and call it our own and make it our own, and it will have an instant positive impact on this program. It will help in recruiting. You know, this is the first place we're going to bring recruits and their parents to see who we are and what we're about and and that, you know, we can compete not just on the field but off the field with the rest of the Sun Belt Conference. And it has, I mean, if one thing has ever had a significant impact, it would be our new facility. So, Well, good luck this weekend. Uh, we're excited to kick off the season, and thank you very much. Thanks, Amanda.